I'm Robin Bensley. Welcome to Chow Time. Each week I bring you a recipe. They're always easy and they're always interesting. On the menu today, it's something I call Swiss crisscross bread. It's decadent. It's delicious. You're going to love this recipe. But I decided to film at least part of the show in a little Swiss village. This happens to be Zuatz, Switzerland, which is not too far from the world-famous ski resort San Moritz, but I kind of happen to like Zuatz a little bit better. About 1,200 people live here. It's about 5,600 feet up in the Swiss Alps, and the mountains you see behind me are about 10,000 feet tall. So at some point, I'm going to zip back to my kitchen in Ohio and make Swiss crisscross bread for you. Swiss crisscross bread. Okay. Picture this, a loaf of crusty Italian bread, crisscross cut on top, saturated with garlic tarragon butter, and then stuffed with Swiss cheese and baked in the oven. Tell me that doesn't sound good. First thing is, uh, the stove goes on 350 degrees. Okay, let's get everything set up. Gotta wear an apron. Sets the mood. That's the first thing you do. Put that right there. Now we'll set up real quick. We want to uh, melt one stick of butter plus about a third to make this garlic tarragon butter. So we'll just let that melt. Next we'll add about eight cloves worth of chopped garlic. I'm using cheater's garlic. Let's let that garlic cook for just a minute. Oh, and I want to add some tarragon, some dried tarragon to this, too. About a teaspoon. Or two. <laughs> okay, that's done. All right, get a decent-sized loaf of Italian bread. You can use other kinds of breads with this, too, but just make sure that they have um, a fairly firm crust, like that. That's perfect. And you want to cut a diagonal uh, stripe, leaving about, oh, almost an inch in between the slices. And you cut it about two-thirds of the way down. Then we're going to come back and cut the bread again. This is the tricky part. You have to kind of hang on to it. But we're going to cut it diagonal going in the opposite direction. Like this. And there is crisscross bread. I'm going to place it on a sheet of heavy foil. And then the garlic tarragon butter goes on next. Just kind of separate it a little bit with your fingers. Just kind of pour it in those cracks. Oh, 
Wow. Does that smell good? Okay, then we are going to stuff all these little crevices with grated Swiss cheese. I have almost a pound of it right here. And you just start, you have to do this with your hands, you just start shoving cheese into all those cracks. Now you want to wrap it up real tight. And this is heavy foil. And we're going to put it in uh, our 350 degree oven for about 45 minutes. It's cooled down enough to eat. So let me just open it up here. Oh, look at this. Look at that. You want to put a little bit of salt on top. Just a little dusting of salt. Swiss crisscross bread. This is what you serve when really good friends stop by because you have to eat it with your hands. You have to just pull a chunk of this bread off of that with the oh that melted Swiss cheese. Mmm. This is so good. Serve this with some really fine, inexpensive red wine. Serve it with a steak dinner. Um, Swiss crisscross bread is something you'll make again and again. This is um, groaner food. This bread makes me want to yodel. Okay? You can print out the recipe at robinbensley.com along with hundreds of other recipes. I'm going back to Switzerland. recipe because it's so delicious. And I also hope that you join my mailing list at robinbensley.com so I can let you know what is coming up in both the areas of food and travel. Yeah.